Now in this video, I'm going to bring you an overview of the lock screen security options available on the Galaxy S4 Mini. Currently, this device has a password selected, the highest security method available. If I type in the password, I will have access. By default, the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini uses a swipe to unlock. This is considered the lowest security option. To demonstrate this, that is how simple it is to enter the device with a swipe unlock. Now, an overview of all of them, apps, settings, my device, lock screen, screen lock. We have a face unlock option, a face and voice option, a pattern, a pin code, and a password. The face unlock and face and voice are considered low security options for the time being. This is because it would be quite simple to spoof a face unlock with simply a picture of somebody. However, tapping it, using it, you now have the setup options. You set it up and continue. I'll be informed to get my face within the option within this circular area here. However, with the camera in front of me, <laughs> can't be done. I'll cancel. Now the face and voice option is exactly the same, however, you are able to use a password afterwards with your own voice. Slightly more secure, however, it can still be spoofed. Both options require you to back up with a pin afterwards. Pattern lock enables you to draw a pattern on the screen, which must be completed when you're unlocking the device. A backup pin is required due to the medium security level. Once you have a pattern lock or any other lock, you must use this pattern or lock method to change the screen lock options. If I now move from pattern security to pin security, I'm not prompted with any other option. Again, to change the setting, I must use the option I've just input. I can then move to a password. The password is considered the higher security option because you can use alphanumeric characters. If at any point you forget a password, you will not be able to access the device without taking it to a Samsung service center. The same is true if you forget a pin lock and do not have a password backup, or if you forget a pattern unlock and are unable to remember a pin as a backup. At all times, it is recommended to use simple passwords or pins that are easily rememberable, but still offer security. Thanks for watching.